Hi, I'm Dr. Taroni Lodog, physician, teacher, and author of National Geographic's Life is Your Best Medicine. Come and join me on a journey towards healing, health, and wholeness. Let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food was probably never truer than it is today in modern America. If you look at what's spread out before me, this is really how our family eats. This is what's in my house. Now, while I could talk about many of these things, what I'd really like to focus on are just a few of these vegetables. You know, I am a big, big fan of the cruciferous vegetables, which include Brussels sprouts, cauliflower, broccoli. Now, these are especially important for women, and I'd like to tell you why. As we make estrogen in our body, it can be metabolized through multiple pathways. Some of those pathways are actually far more cancer-causing or carcinogenic than others. By adding cruciferous vegetables, only about one cup per day, you can shift that estrogen metabolism to the pathway that is least likely to increase your risk for cancer. Uh, the trick here, though, is that these cruciferous, to get that indole-3-carbonyl and to get that important compound that has that protecting effect in the body, you don't want to heat this too much or you'll destroy the enzyme called myrosinase. So this needs to be either lightly steamed or you need to eat it basically raw with a little bit of dip. Now, men, I didn't forget you. We do have the tomatoes because tomatoes are for men what the cruciferous are for women. The tomato is rich in a compound called lycopene. Lycopene concentrates in the prostate gland where it acts as an antioxidant and, and protects the prostate from cancerous tissue. Now the trick for lycopene here is that the lycopene is most bioavailable when the tomatoes have been cooked. So tomato sauce is a great thing to add you know, to, your, to your cooking. If you don't want to use tomato sauce, then take the, the raw tomato, slice it, and smother it with olive oil. That oil will also help with the absorption. You know, and last, I just want to remind you that food is actually more than chemicals and compounds that are found within it. Food is meant to be enjoyed and experienced, shared with friends and family. Let your food be your medicine and your medicine be your food. Because remember, in the end, life is your very best medicine.